Title, Lily's Gift of Empathy Once in a quaint village adorned with colorful houses and blooming gardens, there lived a young girl named Lily. She had a heart as warm as sunshine and a smile that could brighten even the gloomiest of days. Lily was known for her caring nature and her ability to understand the feelings of others. One afternoon, while strolling through the village square, Lily noticed a girl sitting alone on a bench, her head down, and her shoulders slumped. Curiosity and concern filled Lily's heart, and she approached the girl with a gentle smile. Hi, I'm Lily, she said softly. Is everything all right? The girl looked up, surprised by the kindness in Lily's eyes. I'm Emma, she replied hesitantly. I just moved here, and I miss my old friends. Lily listened attentively as Emma shared her feelings of loneliness and uncertainty about starting anew in an unfamiliar place. She could feel the weight of Emma's emotions and knew exactly how it felt to be in her shoes. Change can be tough, Lily said empathetically, but maybe we can be friends. I'll show you around the village and introduce you to my friends. Emma's eyes lit up with a glimmer of hope and a warm smile tugged at the corners of her lips. Together, they explored the village, visiting the charming shops and greeting the friendly villagers. As the days passed, Lily and Emma became inseparable. They shared laughter, stories, and dreams as their friendship blossomed. Lily's empathy helped Emma feel understood and supported during the transition, and Emma's presence enriched Lily's life with new perspectives and joys. One day, as they walked by the river, they noticed a boy named Max sitting alone, tears streaming down his cheeks. Without hesitation, Lily approached Max, her heart aching to know what troubled him. Hey, I'm Lily, and this is my friend, Emma, she said gently. Are you okay? Max hesitated for a moment before he poured out his heart, telling them about the struggles he faced at school and how he felt like he didn't belong. Lily and Emma listened intently, offering words of comfort and understanding. School can be tough sometimes, Lily said, but we're here for you. You can talk to us anytime. With their empathy and support, Max began to feel a glimmer of hope. He realized that he wasn't alone and that he had friends who cared about him. As time went on, Lily's acts of empathy continued to ripple through the village. She noticed when others were feeling down, and she was quick to offer a kind word, a listening ear, or a helping hand. Her empathy touched the lives of many, making the village feel like a warm and compassionate community. Lily's gift of empathy didn't just make a difference in others' lives, it also enriched her own. She learned that by reaching out and understanding the feelings of others, she could create a beautiful tapestry of love and connection. And so, in the quaint village, the story of Lily's gift of empathy spread far and wide. It became a tale of compassion, friendship, and the magical power of understanding and caring for one another. Lily's heart continued to shine like a beacon of empathy, lighting up the lives of everyone she met and reminding them that a little kindness could make a world of difference.